Hi, uh, I'm Mike Alimi. Uh, I'm from Silver Mines in Tipperary. Um, I'm a dairy farmer, mainly dairy farmer, and we keep a good lot of cattle on the farm as well. I have a Quickie Q970 loader, which I purchased off of uh, Tim Gleason machinery uh, 20 years ago. This is the only loader we have on the farm. Uh, it's used for all our feeding, cleaning out, etc. Uh, we, I suppose we make uh, 120 acres of pit silage maybe, and we'd make 1,600 bales as well. Uh, I draw all the bales myself, and then we feed everything with the loader here on the farm. It's been uh, trouble-free. Uh, it has given us unbelievable service. When I bought it, I didn't envisage having it 20 years later but the loader is as good today as it was the day I bought it. Um, I have a lot of attachments for the loader, um, it's, but the loader is used every day on the farm. I suppose I've taken it off the tractor maybe half a dozen times since I bought the loader. The in the first week when I got the loader, I took, off the tra the, took the loader off the tractor. I said, you know, I said I won't need it, and I had to put it on again before that evening and it's really been on since. Uh, it's, just, uh, just, it's just one machine you just could not do without around the yard. I suppose um, we've done a good lot of rec reclamation work over the years. Uh, I've used the loader for taking out banks, taking out ditches. Uh, it's done a lot of jobs that it wasn't designed to do. Uh, I have a quickie stone fork here and the quickie bucket is the original bucket that I bought with the loader 20 years ago but it's still there 20 years later and it, it has done a huge amount of work. Probably seven or eight years ago, I decided to replace all the bushings and pens, pens in the loader. So I, I got them all off the local dealer and I had them here and one day I just took into it and when I went at it, I just couldn't believe. The pins, most of the pins weren't worn at all. Nearly all the bushings were perfect in it. I suppose maybe four bushings needed replacing, but I ended up, I replaced them all anyway. But uh, I suppose we would grease it maybe once a week or once every 10 days. When I was uh, looking at a loader to put on this tractor, I looked at uh, two or three other brands. And I would have uh, looked into them fairly vigorously and looked at the actual machine themselves. And uh, I just thought none of them measured up to the quickie. And I suppose the... the the test has been the time I've had the loader. I've no wells on the loader. The loader is structurally perfect. It's as good as the day it came. And uh, I think that speaks for itself. It says an awful lot about Swedish steel as well, maybe. At the minute, um, I'm trying to purchase another tractor. So the intention would be to put a quickie Q6M loader on that. Now, in saying that, I fully intend holding on to this tractor and loader. Uh, I just couldn't get rid of it at this stage and uh, hopefully the new tractor and loader will give me as much service as this one has.